Hello, Journey family and friends. Welcome to Midweek Conversations. I'm joined, as always, by Pastor Dustin. Right there. Man, a little... Mix it up. Almost a Pass ball and arrow there. Boxing. <laughs> and we're joined by Tammy Joseph. Tammy Joseph, rock star. Hey, yeah. Our Tammy, next, welcome. Our Next Gen Director. Hey, right. Director of Next Gen. Director of Family Ministries. Director of Family Ministries. Come I on, knew man, something get was it off. right. I knew something was off. Director of Family yep. Ministries, Tammy Joseph, and uh, she joins us for a specific reason. But before we get into that, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about uh, last week. I, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about the Lord's work. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, Sunday we had baby dedication. That's right. And uh, I had a lot of families up there, we didn't we? We did. It was great. At both campuses, we yeah. had baby dedication. had baby dedication at Apopka and Lake County. And, you know, what was cool is, is uh, some of those babies that were born, you know, in, in the midst of COVID. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen a lot of those families. Yeah. Yeah. We saw a lot of first-time families back. Exactly. Yeah. They were back with us. And uh, that, was, was, that was, was really cool to see. one family that was cool. I married them during COVID. No way. And, I didn't know that. And now... They, and they, they had a baby dedicated? Yeah, and they had a baby dedicated. Oh, cool. awesome. So that means COVID's been too long is what it means, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, really cool. Well, in, in the largest crowd at yes. a Popka that we've seen, that was not Easter. Yes, and uh, the largest at the 930 service. crowd in our student ministry at Lake County. Yeah, 19 students at Lake County. Anthony, come on, man. Yeah. Great job. Trey Clifton was out at Lake County this week. We heard he did an outstanding job. But Trey uh, did do a good job. You know what else Trey did a great job at? Softball. Trey Clifton did so good playing softball. He was our MVP. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. Well, so last week we talked a little bit about the uh, staff softball game. That really took a life of its own. Mm. Uh, we had no idea. Uh, of how much our staff would get into that. And uh, we, sh we said we would share the results with you. And if you watched last week's, um, our video director, Mark, he kind of put in the, 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 a crawler at the bottom, breaking news, the Dolphins, the Danish Dolphins beat Johnny's Wildcats. And, and fair and square, straight up. So this is a bat, actually, uh, Pastor Dustin, it is his yeah. 2022 staff retreat softball champion. With our logo. I mean, take a look at that. Yeah. With the Dolphin logo and a Wildcat logo and all the people from your Dolphin team yeah. that signed it here. That I'm impressed. This is going to a good cause. We're going to put this on eBay. I thought it was going to Cooperstown. No. Nope. I thought you were going to put it up We're in the Baseball it. Hall of I'm Fame. I'm more of a capitalist than, than a... <laughs> Monumental kind of guy. So we're gonna put that on eBay. Highest bidder starting at ten grand. Wow. So, yeah. Well, wow. look at all these autographs. I well, I won't be participating in that. Now, the, Tammy was on my team and uh, played well. We had a lot of fun. We we that we did learn a lot about our staff, didn't we? Pastor. Oh, we learned. I mean, some people that are really competitive. Some people that have some skills we didn't even know about. They were more. Our staff are more creative than I ever imagined. I, I took. They had walk-up songs. Oh your yeah. Your team had walk-up yeah, songs. Yeah, we your did. Your team had posters Not that it for did every any player. Good. We had a banner. A banner. A professional banner. And you genuinely were talking to me before. I mean, this is midweek. We give them stuff. We don't let everybody else hear. Pastor John was genuinely talking to me about how unfair the teams were because his team was so stacked. I believed it. Compared to my team. I believed in so my team. So I even said they had a pregnant woman on their team. I said, fine, if she scores, that counts as two runs. And we could not. And then I get... got her out and you got mad at me for getting yeah, her out. I mean, so yeah, we put we put her in position to score and Dustin forces her out. I said, are you really going to? But you know, I only counted out as a pregnant woman. I only counted as one out, not oh, two. Oh man, I tell you that. Now that was a tough. The last blow. thing we'll say, and then we'll move on to right. more spiritual matters. We're going to turn this into a little bit of Doctor Phil moment. Okay. And what I want to do, Pastor John, is I want to talk to you about your pitching. Mm. And something was going on inside of your heart, because as you could see from this video. It looked pretty intentional that you threw a ball, possibly as hard as you could at me. Hit me right square in the back. And as you can see from the video, it was serious. I went down like that. Let me assure you, that was not as hard as I could throw. Um, it seemed like it. You would have known it. And secondly, <laughs> Have you ever seen a flop? You know what a flop is in basketball? A flop is when somebody gets near you. Just watch some of the NBA games. You'll see some flops. Or soccer. Or, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh. And if you ever want to see an overreaction, you just take a look at Pastor Dustin. I mean, he literally jumps in front of the play, turns his back, 
But what really concerned <laughs> me, Randy, yeah, that's what concerned me, me is Randy jumped on top of him. Then I thought, okay, now we may have an incident. <laughs> What that showed you is we just had a lot of fun. And honestly, Pastor John and I were talking about it. What a great team outing just for our whole staff and just got to celebrate all that God is doing and just really, really cool. So on to more spiritual matters, although that was that was cool in its own self. So exactly, we have exactly. seen God do incredible things, more baptisms this yeah. weekend. Yeah, a couple uh, at, at, at Apopka. Yep, and Randy great story and behind. Jacob. And, and, and here's oh, the yeah. cool thing about both of those baptisms is uh, they both were connected to a baptism on Easter. Yes. There was a wife that was baptized on Easter, and there was a child that was baptized on Easter. And 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 I, was it Randy's wife? Randy's wife. And then Jacob's child yep. that was baptized. And so Melinda and I were talking about this uh, when we got home, and she said the ripple of yeah, Easter absolutely. is continuing. Yep. And I said, God's yeah. always moving. I Amen. love it. Amen. And so that was a quick look back. Yep. Now we have some exciting things to look forward to. Yeah. It's a great season in family ministry. It is. It's a busy season. Yeah. yeah. It is a very, May is always a very busy season. As a matter of fact, I don't even think this is on your notes. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. It is. It's Teacher Appreciation this week. Shout out to and all the teachers. Yeah. We are going to be at two schools in Lake County. Oh, wow. And we're going to be cool. at eight schools in the Apopka. County. Now, when you say you're at, tell us what you do. I mean, so, nobody knows really to the extent of what we do there. The last several weeks, we've been encouraging um, the kids to write thank you letters to yep. their teachers. And so just getting them, teaching them, you know, that they need to be appreciative of the people pouring into them. So we've been doing that in both kids ministry and in student ministry. And so we pretty much took the top schools that we had the most letters from and we con connected with the schools and we're taking them either Chick-fil-A breakfast oh. or Chick-fil-A lunch. And so, yeah, cool it's really that, cool. Man. And that it's really cool. awesome to be able to, through that, know we have a lot of people that are that that are part of Journey, but also teachers. Oh, yeah. And so well, we were in other school roles this morning. in school. There's yeah. a lot of people in a lot of different roles in schools. Yeah, yeah. No, that's great. Thank you to all the educators. Uh, one of the hardest years in the history of teaching and being in education. So, so grateful for all that you do. Really, really grateful. Yeah. yeah, we know the we know the parents play a huge role in a kid's life. They're the number one spiritual influence. We obviously know the church plays a huge huge role, but I truly believe that the teachers and the education system comes in as a quick third. Absolutely, yeah, I, I, I completely agree. Well, Tammy, uh, kind of walk us through some of the um, uh, big stuff on the calendar coming up that has to do with our next gen. And I know uh, one of the things coming up is is, is a new group of interns yeah. and a couple new residents. Yes, so we have two new residents that will be starting yeah. um, the week of the 23rd of May. And then the week after that, the 29th, we have interns that will be starting. And that's just going to be an exciting time. Yeah. It just brings so much energy. But it also helps us with all the things happening this summer and just exposes oh, yeah. new leaders to just so well, much. Well, and this year, one of our residents was an intern last summer. That's so, right. And intern right. got turned into a resident mm -hmm. because of their experience. Already ben loved and, Yep, Ben Belange already loved and excited. So summer internship is for eight weeks. That's our summer internship. Residency is uh, graduates of college going for a two-year program. A lot more intense, longer. And do we have all the housing? Do you, do you Are you still looking we for hosts? No, we do. Um, this week we're doing our last home visit. But we do want, um, we don't ever want a host home to be a stumbling block for us to saying yes to leadership right. development and leadership growth. So that's something that we're going to mm. be doing all year. Like at any point, if anyone's interested in becoming a host home, they can go onto our residency website right. and just fill that out. We want to have a concept running list of homes. Awesome. So when God drops leaders in our lap, yep. um, we can always say yes. Great. We want to be ready to say yes to that. So Great. yeah. And it's really been cool hearing from some of the interns and residents from the past host homes. They just are so blessed by it. Yep. Like Great. they do it, but they don't realize what they're going to receive yep. in return for that. So, That's cool. um, but then we have summer kickoff. So yep. that summer kickoff for journey students is going to start is um, also gonna, known as SKO. SKO. That's SKO right. summer kickoff. Kickoff and student ministry. It's always one of the biggest events of the year. Great event. Excited about that. And yeah. when's that going to be? So it's going to be on the 25th of for May? high school for May. Okay, cool. May and 25th. Then May 25th. And then middle school is the 29th. Nice. Um, so yeah, we're excited to be able to give the middle schoolers and the high schoolers their own day. And um, really our heart for summer kickoff is that 
students would invite their friends. Yeah. It would be an outreach event, but also it would just set the summer up for just spiritual growth. Um, we're yeah. really excited for Josh Tiaga to just be sharing and leading in that season during summer kickoff. And we're going to do something this summer that we haven't done in two summers. That's right. Right. We are going to be doing our summer oh, jam. Yeah. Yeah. Summer jam. Wow. Ian, I know last year was kind of virtual. Yes. Yep. This year... Back on site? That's right. We're going to be on site. That's um, awesome. And it's going to be, Summer Jam is for kids who have completed kindergarten this school year through completed fifth grade. And so it's going to be July 18th through the 21st, oh, man. Um, 9 a.m. to noon. And it's just going to be a, a great time. We actually are doing it just at our Apopka campus. Okay, just at Apopka. But we actually have people from Lake County that are already coordinating like carpooling so I they know, can come right. and join us. So that's going to be great. And we're just excited to be back in person and um, our current residents and our current Journey Kids staff, they're just pumped to be in person. And it's be able one to of the this. most exciting, vibrant ministries in the calendar year, <laughs> and I've missed it. That's fun. And so if you, if you want to sign up your child or maybe you know someone that does, you can click on the link right here. Or if you want to, I know you're always looking for volunteers. That's right. It's a huge, huge volunteer. Typically Wait, it takes— I forgot one of the most important parts. What's that? It's free. 100% free. 100% wow. free this year. Is that the first time it's it been is, free? Yep, it's the first time it's free this year. That's wow. awesome. Well, that that is that so grateful that we're able to get back and yep. do some of these things that we've really missed. Mm-hmm. Yes. And families have missed and, and really need it. Uh, there's also some camps that, yes. that, that middle school and high school students can go to as well, right? Yes. Camp is going to be uh, J- June 6th through the 10th. And those are off-site. Those are off-site. We're going to be going to Student Life Camp in Lakeland. Oh, in Lakeland. Yep. Yes. Is, did they do that at Southeastern? Yes, yep. they're at Southeastern. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Now, can they still sign up or is it closed? There is still sign up available, but it's very limited. Okay. So, and we've been talking to a lot of families, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm going to sign my kid up for camp." And I, I, I keep telling them, like, "Don't wait." Yeah. Um, you know, it there's is there's nothing that, we could do once it's closed, and people always think that we could do something. That's right, and it, it is a little bit more costly, but you only have to yeah. sign up with a hundred dollars. Okay. So you have to pay a hundred dollars to sign up, and then the other um, is due later in the summer. But it's just going to be such a great time. There's so much spiritual growth that happens in a kid's life during summer camp. Well, you say later in the summer, but it's only a month away now. That's right. We are at the beginning of May, and it's the beginning of June is camp. Which Here we is, are in early May. So, yeah. No yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. So we're going to be having, um, we'll be communicating with all the parents, but we'll be having a parent kickoff meeting yeah. that we'll talk through all the details and logistics of camp. If, if you are a parent, here's what I tell people. I love, I love camps. I love student ministry. I tell people going to camp is the equivalent of being in the student ministry for a year. Mm-hmm. When you come back, the relationships, and I say the same thing to leaders, it's the relational equity as if you've been in their life for a year. And just the teenagers are all about relationships. And this is such a great thing. And it's at the beginning of the summer so that you have all summer long to build on that. And so really want to encourage you, if, if you're a teenager, have one, uh, go ahead and sign up. I, I can guarantee you won't regret it. It's going to be great. We have a lot of stuff that we're sharing right now about NextGen, but one thing our team was talking about is we would love for parents to join our Facebook groups Mm, because that's really a great platform. You know, when I think about my role in NextGen, it's not just kids and students. It's also the parent piece. And so we really want parents to be able to connect with our Facebook groups. We have a middle school group, a high school group, and a kids group. And So so you go on Facebook and you search group and you go Journey Students. Is that how, how do they find that? Yes, Mark will put the name up exactly because it's a little tricky. Yeah, yeah, that's why um, I wanted to make sure. Yes, so we have the middle school group, the high school group, and then the kids group, and right. so it's just a great platform for our teams to be able to communicate to parents. Perfect. Anything else? Well, we're going to conclude the summer with Promotion Weekend. Which is um, one of the biggest events. And that's well. August. That's in August, right? It's in August. It's August 7th. August 7th. And so that's when kids will make First the transition. First Sunday of August. Yep. yep. Yeah. And so it's it happens the Sunday before school starts. Say it again what Promotion Sunday is. Promotion Sunday is when kids who are transitioning yeah. from either fifth grade to sixth grade or kindergarten to first grade, yeah. where they move up in ministry. Yeah. And so everything we do in kids and in students is just stepping stone. And the same with middle school to high school? That's correct. And middle school to high school. So some people will think it's the end of the school year. Do I move up now? And that's a great point. It'll happen in August. So whatever ministry you're in in 
March is what you'll be in in June, July, and then August is Right, and so specifically for our fifth graders, we're doing something this summer called Jumpstart to Journey Students. And so we're doing that during the month of July, where students in fifth grade can get uh, a taste of what student ministry is like. They can meet the student ministry leaders, but then they're also not intimidated, and they're ready to go into middle school ministry. And so there's just been so much momentum. And we also do have a summer calendar for Journey Students. How do we get that? So they can go onto the social media pages, the Instagram pages, pages um they'll be shared on there and we'll be here here and here that's right (laughs) now is that available now or it hasn't come out it will be released it'll be released the first week of june there you go it so don't look for it yet but it'll be released the first week of june so tammy actually no it'll be released before that but it starts the first week of june let me correct correct that yes all right good it seems like there's not a lot going on in next gen. <laughs> we need you to get the wheels moving. <laughs> uh, Tammy, if you don't know her, Tammy is a go-getter. And uh, every, if she just did one of these, it's a big, big initiative. And all of these in the next 90 days is a lot. And we got a great team. And uh, maybe you want to be a part of the next gen, the family ministry team. This is a great time to jump in. Because we're seeing so many new families, we saw all this momentum from Easter, which means we're looking for more people to disciple teenagers, love on kids. And so yeah. if that's something you want to jump into, uh, love to, to be able to help connect you there. Well, and the growing numbers that we've seen certainly has been in children's ministry as well. We've yep. seen a lot more kids that are coming back over these last few weeks, and I think that's going to continue to grow. So There's one more thing coming up at the end of the month that I'm excited about. Graduation Sunday. That's right, and it hits home for you. I know it exactly. does. Exactly. Yeah. Riley, my boy, is graduating. The high first school. of the A guard kids to graduate. Oh my goodness! How about yes, that? and very That's excited. Be fun. Love what we do yeah. to be able to celebrate and honor our graduates. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So we'll bring the graduates on stage and just pray for them and encourage them as they go off on their journey. And so um, you can sign up if you have a graduate on our website. Yeah, that'd be great. And so yeah, we need uh, um, we need all that to happen because we need to get photos in place and it's almost like graduation like we did baby d and we brought all the families on stage so it's we talk about you know you have 936 weeks from birth to graduation and so we had the grad the babies on stage made me cry you got 936 seconds now you know it's all gone tammy yep so So we're excited for graduation sunday Tammy, thanks for joining us. Yep, thanks good, for having me. Good, yeah. uh, good information uh, to share. You might need to share this with somebody in your circle that says, hey, what's happening with kids this summer? Tell them to watch this midweek conversation and uh, be looking for some of those uh, other things that we talked about coming out for, uh, uh, for the summer and the summer calendar. Yep. All right. Hey, uh, this week, Mother's Day. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Okay. I just... Uh, this, this this week is Mother's Day, and and it's the conclusion of uh, how to have a healthy family. Uh, we've shared over the last uh, couple Sundays uh, some practical things, and this week, um, Pastor Dustin is sharing. Um, so, what's the myth and what's the truth? Well, we didn't even we didn't even recap your message, which was fabulous, Pastor John. It's, on it's, it's behind us. <laughs> it's behind, on learning your history of your family. How about that? Yeah, which is really cool. I'm still I'm shocked by it all. And just something I think we could all relate to. We got a little bit of everything in all of our families. Con men and pastors. Con men and pastors. So great message. Uh, week two, week three. The the myth is perfect families do it all. Uh, but the truth is healthy families have boundaries. There you go. And we live in a, in a culture where it's play every sport, don't ever say no, do everything always. And m- maybe that's why we're a little burned out. Yeah. And so how do we learn to say no? And what do we say no to? And what does that look like? So look forward to that as well as just celebrating all the moms yeah. out there. It'll be a special Sunday. It's going to be a very special Sunday. So join us at uh, Apopka or Lake County, 930, 1115 a.m., or join us online, and as always, we are loving the journey.